Hey everybody, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, today I have a quick little demo on how to set eyelets with your crop dial. Stephanie, one of the viewers of my channel, uh, requested that I show how I use it to set eyelets and I thought, sure, maybe other people would like to watch as well. So um, yeah, this is a great tool. If you don't have a crop dial, um, its main purpose is to punch holes and to set eyelets. And it can punch holes through lots of different kinds of material, thick material, materials, regular paper, um, so it's very handy. And you can punch holes in two different sizes as well. There's um, a 3 16th side and an 1 8th of an inch side. So um, yeah, so either bigger or smaller holes you can punch. There are depth guides here, so you can put your paper in up to the depth guide to, you know, depending on how far into your page you want your hole to be. You can keep it consistent by moving your guide. So uh, it, you know, if you're doing like a bunch of different tags or something, you can just put the paper up to the depth guide and it'll punch the hole in the same spot every time. So, okay, so these are the two different hole punches. And this part here is the eyelet setter. I think some people aren't aware that you can rotate these cubes to customize the size of eyelet that you're going to be using um, in your project. So a very handy guide that comes with the crop -a dial is this. And this gives you a cube chart, it's called. And it tells you what setting to use depending on what kind of eyelet you're using. I typically use A and 1 for the 3 sixteenths of an inch eyelet. That's your standard regular size eyelet. Um, for the smaller eyelets, I use C and 3. That's for the 1 8 inch eyelet. I don't usually use washers and I don't do flat embellishments. So I use A1 and C3 and I will demo how to do that. Okay, so these are the two different parts that you have to change the setting of, of your crop dial, okay? So this part here is the, um, is the base. And if you can see, there are numbers on the cube. See, there's a two right there. And if you pull it out, you can rotate it. And then there is a, um, that's a three. Okay, and you want it to face the inside, whichever number you're looking for. So I want number one. So my number one is this one. That's one I use the most. So I'm going to rotate that towards the front. Uh, going the wrong way. Okay, so I rotated that towards the front, and then you just snap it into place. So now the uh, side one of the cube is facing the inside of the crop dial. Okay, now on this side, this is the uh, top part of the punch. So there's C, as you can see right there, right? Kind of a C, yep. There's B, which is just a little bit indented. I never use that one. And that's A, that's the one I use most of all, A and one. So you pop it back into place. So I have um, one and, or I have, yeah, one and A. So I will show you how to set an eyelet and punch a hole. Okay, so you could do it in two different ways. If you um, just have a shape that you wanna turn into a tag like this, I die cut this out of a, just a regular thin let's die, but as you can see, it doesn't have a hole in it. So if you wanna make it into a tag, you can use your crop dial. Um, I punched it out or I die cut it out twice and put the two pieces together because I like my tags to be nice and thick. All right, so to cut the hole or to punch the hole first, I'm gonna use the 3 16ths of an inch side and that is the bigger hole. See, there's a small one and that's the bigger one. So you take your paper or whatever it is you're punching and you can either use this guide, the depth guide that I showed before or just eyeball it, which I usually do. So I'm just gonna eyeball it and actually, I'm gonna move the depth guide down a little bit because it's too close to the edge. Okay, and then you just squeeze it and it punches a hole really nice and easily. And then we're gonna go and get an eyelet to put in there. And an eyelet just kind of reinforces it and makes it stronger. You can get, especially this size eyelet, this is the most common size of 3 sixteenths. Um, you can get We Are Memory Keepers eyelets. These I got, I think probably from scrapbook.com. They come in all different colors. Um, they also have uh, the Recollections brand at Michael's that look like that. And these are also, I think these are We Are Memory Keepers too, I'm not sure. So I have these, 
and I have these. So lots of different colors, combinations. So why don't we just use a We Are Memory Keepers one for this project since we are using a crop dial. So I'm just gonna pick one out. Um, let's use one that I have a lot of <laughs> for the demo. Okay, so this is what an eyelet looks like before you punch it in. See, it's got that, that thick shank there and then the top. Okay, so, oops. So you take it and just press it into your the hole that you punched with your crop dial. Okay, so it just looks like that, fits in nicely. The back is sticking up like that. All right, so you're gonna take your crop dial and it tells you which way to put up and down. Um, see, it says base right there. And then there's a little graphic there that has the picture of an eyelet. It's kind of hard to see with an arrow pointing down. So you want the top of the app eyelet to be on that side. Okay, so let me see if I can show you. You're gonna put your tag inside the crop dial. Whoops, make sure your eyelet is flat on the tag. Okay, and then put it on the base, and then you're gonna squeeze it so that top cube goes into the eyelet and squeeze it till you can't squeeze it anymore and then release. And now your eyelet is set and that's what the back looks like. See, really nice and easy. And then you have a really professional looking tag that is gonna be nice and sturdy. Let's do that again. And this time we'll do one with a pre-punched hole. This is a tag die that I use that came with a hole in it already, but I still wanna add an eyelet to it. So I'm going to go ahead and punch a hole on top of this hole because this hole is a little bit smaller than a 3 16th of an inch hole. So I'm just gonna take my crop dial and see it's going right over that hole. Just do it as evenly as you can and just squeeze it just to make the hole big enough for an eyelet. Okay, now let's take, let's take a white one for this. This is um, one for Michael's. I always open it upside down. Oh, yep, <laughs> I opened it upside down. So they all fall out. Okay, so you take your eyelet just like you did before and put it inside the hole like that. And let's go ahead and set our eyelet again. Again, that's the top and the base is kind of rounded. So put it in top first. Make sure the base is on the base cube and the top is right under that pokey part and then squeeze. It's easy to squeeze. Okay, and that's what that one looks like. So that one's done too. And I want to show you a smaller one as well. Smaller eyelets are a little bit harder to find. You can find this container, well, I think it's still at, at um, Hobby Lobby, but that's where I found it. And these are the uh, 1 8 inch eyelets. Um, they're kind of mixed up as you can see, but they're different metals. I'm sure you can find them online somewhere. I've gotten this package of like eyelets and stuff from Hobby Lobby a long time ago. It's got smaller ones and bigger ones and brads. I don't know if you could still get this. I don't think so, but um, anyway, let's start with a smaller tag. So smaller tags, sometimes you want to have a smaller hole. Um, so go ahead and take your crop dial and you're going to go to the smaller hole size, the 1 8 of an inch size, which says right there. Uh, if you could see it, 1 8 of an inch. Okay, the 1 8 of an inch side, go ahead and punch a hole. See, it's smaller than the other one. And then you are going to pick an eyelet. I will pick, let's pick this like pretty matte silver one. And it works the same way. You just have to change the settings on your crop dial for the smaller one so it makes a nice tight eyelet. Um, okay, so for the smaller one, you're gonna use the C3 setting, okay? So you pull out the cube, pull it towards the center of the crop dial so you can rotate it. All right, so we had it on A, that one is A. There's D, there's C. Oh, sorry, I bumped my tripod. But um, if you could see, there's a C in the corner there, right there. Okay, so go ahead and move that towards the front, snap it into place, and then take the base cube out, and we had it at one, there's four, 
there's three. All right, so we have C and three, and you can see the, the top part is thinner, so it'll fit nicely into this smaller eyelet, okay? And the depth of the three base cube will um, have a nice tight seal for your eyelet. So you do it the same way. You take your tag with the eyelet in it, put it into your crocodile the right way up, and then put the tool right inside and squeeze. And then you have a nice smaller eyelet set. And that's what the back looks like. So it just kind of squeezes that, that um, inside part out to, to cover the back of your tag. So there you go. So once again, this is a great tool to have. I use it all the time, even if I'm not using an eyelet, just to, just to punch holes. It works really, really well. If you have any questions, let me know. And Stephanie, thank you so much for asking, and I'm happy to demo any tool I have if anybody else would like. So thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with another crafty video. Bye.